Okay, I'm going to talk about the piano section now. This is this area here. Um, basically, you have four different areas, acoustic pianos, electric pianos, clavichord, others, which is from mouth organs all the way up to church organs. Um, if I start off with the acoustic piano, this one here. And what I like to do with this keyboard, because this is what it's designed for, instead of just moving on to other sounds, um, I use my ADSR and also my multi-effects um, pretty much on every different sound. So if I just use the piano, I'll just give you an idea what I've got. I can use attack, decay, and release as well. And I've also got cutoff and resonance. I don't have to go through any pages to do this. Um, but the really cool thing I like is the multi-effects. So, if I just uh, do the first one, we've got compressor, for instance. I've also got tone control. And you can hear it goes brighter or darker. Back to the top and the great thing is I can turn pretty much any sound in this keyboard to you know what I want it to be using the effects so for instance I can use the overdrive I can use all of these together as well but I'm just switching them all off one by one at a time reverb and as I hit the reverb the state the screen changes and it asks me what reverb I want to use, so I can literally change them on the fly. Room, stage, cathedral, and hall. So the same thing will happen with the delay effect. Go straight to three tap delay, to tempo delay. And then I have a multi-effects as well, which is great. There are over 20 multi-effects to choose from. The screen automatically goes to pitch shifter for this particular sound at the moment. So I can go. Which is a nice way of turning a nice piano into a honky-tonk. So I can. I can go through there and unlike other keyboards the rotary doesn't just work on organ sounds as well so I can have my regular sound turn the delay off and the rotary on so that's using the effects with just the acoustic on one acoustic of piano sound if I hit the, 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 the button here you can see that I can scroll through tons of different acoustic pianos um, and then next to that I move on to the next section, which is the electric piano. So I've got... These are great, obviously, with distortion to get that old road sound. And again, this has been assigned a tremolo to the multi-effects, but it could be any of the 20 I want to use. So you can scroll through each different electric piano sounds. As soon as I hit the button again, the screen just changes for electric pianos. Underneath that, we have clavichord, and you can switch that to, it's, it's automatically assigned this one to a wah, but it could be anything. And you can just switch the effects on as well. Bear in mind, you can run every one of these effects at the same time. And the last one on this section is others. Um, Harmonicas, blues harps, lovely blues harp actually with the overdrive. You can only play the blues though if you've lived them. Um, also next to the, um, in the piano section is the level. And this is quite important because every single section of the keyboard has its own different level. So if I was to layer this sound with another string sounds, in fact, I'll just give you a quick example of doing that. I'll just put it to a regular acoustic. And then if I just hold the acoustic down with a pad, the screen changes again, and now I can see that I've got a piano and soft pad. And basically, whichever one I want to work on, I just come across, and now that's the level for the pad. And I can still use my 
cut off filters and resonance. So that's the piano section.